You guys know how the old adagi goes. Another 100 meters, another portage. In last week's episode, we pushed through a heavy section of rapids and liftovers, slowly making our way through the technical section of this river. We managed to hit some good sets of rapids and were treated to some beautiful campsites. We've been grinding, but the hard work isn't over just yet, and there are still some big drops left in this river. Welcome to this week's episode. Such a beautiful morning. It is. It has like a weird warm breeze to it. Do you feel that? Yeah. Man, I thought it was saying like I, I wish I had left more stuff out to dry. Is your stuff just not in right now? It's just like not perfectly dry. Yeah. Man, I don't know. I have to say this is the most beautiful site we've had. This and Adrian Falls. Yeah. Adrian Falls is really sick. Yeah. Best, Best sight ever. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. It is the morning of day eight, and I'm really sore today. <laughs> we worked really hard yesterday, and my body can feel that today. We just had some breakfast. Our favorite one is granola with milk, and uh, we're all fueled up. We're gonna start packing up camp here shortly, but it's been kind of a slow moving morning for us. We're hoping for another big day on the water. We crushed a lot of distance yesterday and uh, we're hoping that we can do the same today. We're getting close to the end of the section with like all the rapids and waterfalls and craziness and so we just uh, need to buckle down and get through these last little couple stretches before uh, the flat water takes us out to the Kasagami River, which then flows into the Harakanaw, and then out into James Bay, where we'll uh, start our paddle across the coast to Moosonee. I feel like we haven't been thinking very much about that next phase of the trip, but it's uh, it's kind of like this has been our the biggest thing on our mind right now is getting through uh, the crazy sections that we're in right now, and once all that's over, then we can worry about tides and all the other fun that comes with paddling along uh, James Bay. Should be good. I think uh, one thing, like you said, we're just worried about getting past this section, but more so I think you have to start now enjoying it, you know? Like it's- Definitely. It's we're probably two days out of this section before we hit flat water again. And I'm assuming it's gonna be a lot more boggy and not as many rock outcrops. So like I'm kind of just like trying to take it all in right now because I know the next section is probably gonna be have its own challenges in its own right, aka no fresh water. <laughs> we have to fill up the bear barrel with water. So I don't know, I just I think like right now there's so many variables at the next step ahead, but we should just like, you know, take take a minute to enjoy what's what's happening right now. What's right in front of us. Yeah. We're having fun. Even if we don't though, like there's not much left to accomplish for tomorrow. Yeah. Though we have to do it in the rain and if it is over like slippery rock and stuff. Yeah, it might be sketch. Not gonna be chill, but. I'm down to push today. Yeah. The Let's Autobahn just sounds like it's gonna be fast, eh? Yeah, it does. No <laughs> speed limits on that rapid. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Are there no fish here? No. <laughs> this is like a 
So right now we're heading through what looks like a, a maze of islands. Like there's there's a current flowing every which way around here. There's waterfalls, a lot of ledges. Uh, so we're slowly making our way down river left side, hopefully punching through into some flat water. But it's just like beyond beautiful. The topography of this area has changed completely. And uh, it's almost like pocket water. Like it's like a waterfall, a nice pool, a runnable rapid, a waterfall, a nice pool, and it, the river really doesn't get much wider than this um, for as long as we can see anyways. Uh, so it's, I think we're enjoying this right now. It's, it's a lot of fun. Slow moving, but we're on vacation. up the boats, Eric ended up slipping and falling into the water. Luckily he didn't end up hurting himself, and he also managed to stay dry even though the water was above the waistline of his dry pants. Did you land on your elbow or anything? No, no, literally like I fell the best way possible. I just kind of slid down. Oh, nice. Yeah, but I was fully submerged. <laughs> and no, no leakage? No, no leakage, dude. I, I'm tripping out. That's awesome, man. So we're currently just portaging around these chutes. Oh shoot, another chute. Oh shoot. So many chutes. Yeah. Maybe the other side's better, eh? Yeah. I'll have to go check it out. Can we just push it in the water? Currently portaging through an island, like a forest on an island, and it's absolutely beautiful in here. And there's two massive chutes on either side of this island, just gushing with water. A little paradise in here. All right, so Eric found a nice, easy line around this island, and I took the absolute hardest way through the thick of the forest. And so now we have to go pick up our gear, which is on the other side of the island, because I'm not portaging it back. Yo, so I'm right at the top of this corner. Like, I think if we just pull in, like, actually, yo, even right here. Back pedal. This looks pretty easy to climb up. Climb up. All right, so we just stopped for a quick little lunch break on that rock behind me, but we're not wasting any time. We're getting back on the river and heading a little further down. We want to get uh, a lot more distance covered today, so we're not wasting any time and getting back out there. So it kind of looks like we're lined up right to hit that stuff we want to hit. Yeah. Dude draws. Pull us over. Yep. All 
Do you feel the wind? Yeah. Was that from the wind? Yeah, bro. It's all to me at home. It's actually a notch out on this tree. Today has been a real grind. We're making distance. It hasn't been overly difficult, but uh, I don't know. It, we, we definitely, I don't feel like we're really rushing. Neither of us really felt like we're really rushing, but um, Eric slipped earlier, I slipped, um, both of us okay. Um, we left a fishing rod behind, uh, so we had to go back, a, like, I don't know, probably like half a kilometer and paddle against the current, and it was just like, probably only wasted 15 minutes, but it's just like we seem to be a little bit off our groove today, and uh, we're not really sure why, but... It's definitely like a reason to take it even slower out here. Um, we just ran a line not long ago that like did not go as planned at all and luckily we were able to bail out. But for the most part, we've hit very good lines on this trip. But that last one, uh, I think it was a bit of a combo of us misreading it. And also um, the wind seems to have picked up quite a bit. And that may, I felt it a lot on a couple portages ago and I'm thinking that maybe the wind also contributed to us not being able to make the turn that we were looking to make. So, I don't know, all in all, I think it just means that uh, we really need to take our time out here and and make sure that we're safe and, and we're taking it slow. Other than that, we're crushing a lot of distance. It's a beautiful day out and uh, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful out here. Like it has been for like the last like four days. Love this area. Go, go. We're okay, go straight. Go straight, go straight. Were you talking about that one? I, I, last minute, I was kind of like, yo, I actually think we could have just hit that. Yeah, me too. You want to just turn and hit it? Yeah. But yo, to do this sea turn, yo, paddle forwards then, paddle forwards. Forwards, forwards. Forwards? Yep. That's okay, that worked out. That was sick. Beautiful. Then we have the next rock behind us to get behind. Yep. In this situation, we actually used a front ferry to make our way down the river backwards. It might seem kind of like a backwards idea, but the control that the front ferry gave us was perfect for slipping behind rocks on our way down. Okay, let us drop back. And then in the current going down the left side of this rock, yep. we're in a C turn. So paddle forward, but we're gonna wait a second, wait a second. Let's get into that current. Now? Yeah. And now we wanna get left. Nice, dude. 
Yeah, that was, that was awesome, man. Yeah, that was. Yo, good recommendation going back down a little bit. Oh, we're 4.5 clicks from camp right now, from camp this morning. And uh, we are about a kilometer and a bit out from camp, potentially we would want to camp Frog Song Falls. It's been, uh, it's been a pretty crazy day. I think today's the day of liftovers. It, uh, it almost seems like every single set we get to, not really runnable, maybe a little section of it we can run. And the rest is just lifting over waterfalls. I think we've come across maybe five or six waterfalls today alone, or waterfall-esque features. So it's been pretty tough, but the sun's out, and we're on vacation. All right, do we see our hole? The one that we want to be left of, the second feature. All right, back up here? Yep. So they, are we hitting this? We're hitting this. Yep. We're staying left of that hole. Yep. We're riding this wave train essentially. Out to those splishy splashies yep. that you can already see. And then we're kind of like going like this. Uh, but to the right. To the, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna get, uh, go into that bay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So let's turn in here. One more forward. All right, now back paddle. Okay, now draw or cross draw. Nice. Now, yeah, you got it. Nice, buddy. Woo! Yo. No big deal for the boys. That was sick. That was so sick. Yo, this might be one of my favorite sets of rapids. <laughs> the maneuvers are like legit through islands. Dude, that was awesome. That was good. Executed end to end. So we've just arrived at Camp number nine for the night. We had another absolute grind today. Uh, we pushed really hard. We're both, I think, very, very sore from it. Um, I think we made it probably about five kilometers today. So just very, very slow moving. But the good news is, is that we've gotten ourselves to a good place now that we, we feel like we're on track to be able to make it to Moosonee in time. We wanted to make sure to leave about five days for the coast um, just because weather delays, wind, like all sorts of things can happen along the coast and we, we, we're on a reduced paddling schedule because of the tides. So with all of that taken into factor, we wanted to make sure we left ourselves with ample time to get across and if we make it back early then Neither of us have been to Moose Factory or Moosonee before, so we'd be able to have some time to check that stuff out. So the push is good. I think we've got only another four or five kilometers till the end of like where the rapids really are on this river. And then we've got some like big days of, uh, of flat water paddling ahead of us. So anyways, we're just gonna jump in, go for a swim and, and try to unwind a little bit. We've got our clothes drying and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Take a look at how beautiful this site is. Look at Eric running around with no clothes on. That's a speedo for swimming. Nice speedo! <laughs> Can't really complain with the view from our campsite tonight.
<laughs> Drying out all our warrior gear over there. We were soaked when we got in again, even with the dry pants, just from sweat. How do you feel after today? Dead. My back is numb. I don't think my fingers can grip anything. My knees feel shot. My thighs burn. But I'm having a great time. I'm having a great time. I'm hungry. Yeah, we should eat. And I can use a shot of whiskey, baby. I'd love a shot of whiskey. Priorities. Alright, so we finally got our tent set up. We have a water hang going right now. We just ate our third of four taco dinners. Oh, I'm really ever good. Eric's just digesting that right now. Oh, yeah. And we also got our tarp set up going because we are suspecting some rain coming in tonight. And uh, we want to have somewhere. We're, we're planning a bit of a lion tomorrow. We're both very sore today. We worked very hard the last few days and we think we earned it. So we're gonna lie in tomorrow and then uh, when we do get up, we want to have a nice place to chill if it is raining. So we're just uh, packing up the final few things here and I'm scrambling the last little bit of my energy here before I hit the sack give you guys a bit of an update so you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you guys have a good night Crazy to think that in high water, based on where you're seeing driftwood, all of this is likely underwater. And on the far, far shoreline over there, with the moss in the background, you can actually see the water line. I can't even imagine, like, based on how raging this river is right now, like, what it would be like in higher water. Good morning. It is the morning of day 10 out here. We're finally in the du double digits. Hard to believe we've been out here for that long. Forecast for the day, a little cloudy, sporadic showers. Hasn't been coming down too hard yet. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're, we're having a bit of a lazy morning this morning. We're, we didn't get out of bed until like nine. Uh, I spent some time journaling in the tent this morning. Eric was catching some Z's, and uh, yeah, we just we got our fire going, and we're gonna probably make some moves at some point this morning, but we're not really in any rush to do it. We also don't really care how far we make it today, because yesterday was a really solid day for us, so. We're just gonna push on, and, uh, and see where we make it to. We're feeling pretty good about where we're at, and uh, yeah, might as well enjoy this final section before things get all boggy as we head into James Bay. Talk is cheap, my darling, when you're feeling right at home. 
wanna make you move with confidence I wanna be with you alone Help me help you start it You're too comfortable to know Throwing out those words Oh, you gotta feel it on your own That's it, baby. That's it. Now I'm stuck in Folsom Prison, and time keeps dragging on. That whistle, that train keeps a rolling on down to San Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> for the day. There's just kind of like, uh, like I love paddling through like rocky sections like this. Oh, me too. straight in. Cool. Let's stay right side though. Paddle for it. Stay right. We actually have a little stretch to paddle here. Yo, that's a waterfall, right? Right here? We're gonna get to it, and just because you said that, you jinxed it. Now it's a waterfall. <laughs> Yo, we should probably back paddle through it just in case there's something juicy in there, you know? No, I'm not against. Yo, I love a back paddle. I don't, but I'm down. Yeah, like the bottom. What's going on down there? Yo, yeah, I think you have to shoot right. Alright, battle hard. Can we hit this? Battle hard. Yeah, we're good. Took on a little water after the last couple sets of rapids. So just taking a minute.
All right, so we've absolutely been crushing it this morning. I just said this morning. It's actually 2.45 in the afternoon. My bad. We didn't leave till, I think, 12.30 today. That was a nice chill morning for us that was well needed. It looks like we just arrived at another waterfall that we're gonna have to portage around, but the portage is nice and clear over a, a bare rock, so we should be able to get that done pretty quickly, and then we're probably gonna have lunch sometime soon, so. The rain's held off, and the last couple features have been awesome, so what, like, no complaints over here. So we've gotten an inconceivable amount of snags on this trip, and we just got yet another one. We don't even know why we're throwing lures anymore because there's literally no fish in these waters. Like, it's actually sad to watch us like just collect snag after snag in a hopeless fishing scenario. <laughs> Bro, why haven't you caught a fish? <laughs> You're still skunked. Because there's an A, hey, 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 A. Hey. As a boat, we're not skunked. That's all that matters, and I'm sticking to it. An inconceivable amount of zero fish in this river. <laughs> For today's lunch, we actually have cheese and salami wraps, but we're also out of wraps, but we have mustard, so I feel like that's a fair substitute for the wrap. That's, maybe that's my opinion, but let's dig in. So you want to get a nice, about quarter inch piece of cheese, you want to find a nice round salami, then you get your mustard, two shakes, pop it open, squeeze it on top, why not, right? And then, how important is it not to get mustard on that meat? It kind of taints the taste, yeah, I yeah, find, yeah. right? But that's why you have this. So then you lightly place it on, it's like a Krabby Patty. Like a one bite brownie? Yeah. Lunch. It's about four o'clock, and we're gonna try to push on over the next three hours to the very final waterfall on this river. Um, we, we don't really know what the next couple features are gonna be like. We have a, another waterfall as well to get by, maybe another set of rapids. Um, really depends on how quickly we can get past those, but. It would be really nice to get to that last uh, waterfall so that uh, tomorrow we can start the very final stretch of the Katawagami where maybe we can get to the uh, Kesagami River tomorrow night. We'll see how... Uh, take it one day at a time though, we'll see where we get today. Never gets old. No, it really does. Yo, you wanna stay in old and yep. just take off? Oh, sick. There's another one there. There, dude. Crazy. Oh, like something got eaten here. Yeah. Are those ribs, you think? I don't know, I think so. All right, so we just uh, got out to do another portage and it looks like someone had a barbecue here without us. I don't know for sure. I feel like these might be ribs of an animal, likely a moose or a caribou, but they are scattered everywhere. Crazy. Hopefully whatever it is is full now. <laughs> Just uh, portaging around another rapid here. We found a, a sneak route through this like back area over here. The bugs are pretty thick right now. Shell 
casings or wing casings? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool, man. All right, so we just finished the portage around what we believe to be the second last set of waterfalls on this river. We're trying to enjoy every minute of it. Once again, we got saved by some nice open rocky space that we were able to portage around. And it looks like we actually kind of came through a bit of an old campsite because um, there's some cut logs and uh, an old fire pit as well. So kind of cool to see that. Now we're just jumping back in the boats and we're very close to the final waterfall. So kind of exciting, kind of sad, uh, but we're definitely both feeling very proud right now. Like just this last little section that we, we crushed was a complete grind and, and we barely stopped other than like having a late morning today and maybe a couple chill mornings where we left a little later but like other than that just grinding every single day so I'm very proud of us I think that uh, we worked really hard to get here so definitely feels like a big accomplishment and uh, the trip's not over yet there's still uh, there's still lots ahead so another section done on to the next. Alright, you want that right tilt? Yeah. We're going left of this hole right here. Like, like down below? Yeah. No, no, right here, right here. Yeah. Okay, C turn? C turn. Yo, go right of it. What? Is my water bottle back there? Is my... Oh no, dude. Yo, just pull over here. It's a fast walk up. <laughs> Has to be the water bottle. Alright, so I haven't been having a very good trip in terms of water bottle management. My water bottle, my Nalgene, trusty old Nalgene that I've taken for like the last like three, two or three years anyway. Anyways, had all my favorite stickers on it. I lost it a couple, probably about five days ago on this trip. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it was while we were camped on a rocky point that had a slope on either side. And I'm pretty sure it rolled off that site at night like after I brushed my teeth or something. And when I went to go find it in the morning, it was gone, nowhere to be seen. And so I had to get a new Nalgene and luckily we had one that we were using for something else. And now we just finished a set of rapids. And I looked down cause I was getting thirsty. Luckily I looked down and I was like, where's my Nalgene? Well, There it is right there. Super annoying. At least I didn't actually lose this one. Man, always gotta, that's why it's so important to have like a solid system in place about where everything goes. I've had my Nalgene tethered to my Pelican case the entire time and uh, it wasn't there. Now I noticed. Anyways, walking back to the canoe, onwards we go. So we do need to be a little bit, like in terms of the V that we're hitting, yep. we want to be on the left side of it. Yeah, I see that. Basically hugging that rock because of that shallow rock. Yeah. So that'll be like, we need some uh, draws and cross draws to help us get in position for that. We're okay right here. The current is going to bring us around. I actually think we might even need to be more to the right. We were heading into a set of rapids that led into the final waterfall of the trip. The current was pretty strong and it was a complete boulder garden which posed a high risk for pinning our canoe. 
Okay, I think we might be okay to back ferry. Okay, forward. Nice. We pulled over at the side of the river to scout a line. It was going to require some detailed maneuvers, but we were confident that we could pull it off. Nice, nice one, man. Ready? Yep. One back forward stroke. With our hearts beating quickly, we jumped back in the canoe and started making our way down the set of rapids. Yeah, if you get to the right side of this, we're gonna, be, we're gonna be good, bro. All right. We're good. You see our, you see our line? Yeah, we have to be a little bit further over. Yep. Yeah. Go talk to me the entire way after this too, eh? Yep. Okay, forward. Suck us right over there, yeah. Forward, 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 forward. Nice. You're walking, walking. All right, we're going through here. All right, we're good. We're right after this rock down here. We're going left. No, 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 not yet, not yet. All right, we're going. <laughs> Holy. Yo, rock here. Rock here, rock here. That was scary. That was the grand finale right there. We recovered well. Yo, what the f***? Yo, I'm scrambling right now, bro. Yeah. By the time you're all registered, yeah. I like, bro, I, it was too late. Like, I already made two paddle strokes to get us left, or a draw, or whatever that was. Yeah. And then you were saying that, and then it registered, and I was like, man, I can't you recover from this. I felt it when we were like lined up. Yeah. We were lucky there was actually like a decent amount of current going left that helped us get by that rock. But dude, like overall, we, we did well getting down there. And that was one of the scariest things of my life. Yeah. Man. Not ideal to have that happen this close to a waterfall. But man, we had a day. We made it to the very final feature yeah, on this right. river. We did it, man. We absolutely did it. We're alive. Let's make camp. Yeah. And enjoy a couple, enjoy a couple shots of whiskey. Yes, sir. All right, so we made it to Camp 10. We are at the final waterfall on the Katawagami. And from here, we are basically uh, flowing through some marsh as we approach uh, James Bay. We pushed pace again today, especially since we left at 12 noon and uh, still made it like a decent amount of distance. I think we about 4.5, five kilometers and not across some easy terrain again. Lots of liftovers. It was, uh, it was really tough, but uh, we grinded. Had another humbling moment at the end of the day, but you know what? We, we did the best that we could through it and, uh, and here we are. And I think we're being graced by the river gods with some sun after a rainy day when we thought we were gonna be in rain for kind of the next couple days. So, feeling pretty good right now. Might have a couple sips of whiskey by the river as a treat for the day. Got a nice little tarp set up in there for if it rains. Good tent pad. that humbling set coming into the top of the waterfall. And it flows right down. Let's go see what she's looking like.
dude, this is so good. <laughs> oh my god. Get that side angle. This is one of my favorite backcountry meals, is just taking craft dinner and adding dehydrated ground beef to it. And Look, then, it's like a bl DQ blizzard. You can, you can, you can <laughs> flip it upside down. You can flip it upside down, no big deal. But does it get much better than this? I don't think so. No. Sure, no look, look. That's how you know it's a real scoop of, of KD beef. Yes. Look at that. 